Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber. And also, welcome to all the newbies who are joining me for the first time. In this video, I'm going to discuss a crucial aspect of American English pronunciation. And this sound in particular is one that almost all of my students ask me about, the dark L sound. If you're a non-native speaker looking to refine your English pronunciation and sound more like a native speaker, mastering the dark L sound is essential. In this video, I'll break down what the dark L is, how to pronounce it correctly, and provide you with tons of dark L practice to help you master this sound and integrate it into your speech effortlessly. The dark L is also called the velarized L, and it's a unique sound in American English. Not all forms of English use the dark L in the same way as American English. So if the American accent is the accent you want to master, then this sound will help you get there. The dark L occurs when the L sound appears after vowels within the same syllable, or when the L sound is at the end of a word, like in the words call, milk, or help. This is in contrast to the other type of L sound in American English called the light L, which is also sometimes called the clear L. The light L occurs when the L sound is at the beginning of a syllable or when it's part of a consonant cluster, like in the words light and blue. The dark L and the light L are articulated differently in American English. For the light L, the tongue tip comes up and touches the alveolar ridge or the back of the upper teeth, or the tongue tip may also go outside of the mouth between the upper and lower teeth. This tongue position creates an L sound that is forward in the mouth, light blue. But the dark L is made differently, and it sounds very different as well. The dark L is made primarily with the back of the tongue as it pulls back and down. And you may feel the sensation that the back of the tongue raises towards the back of the throat. The tongue is also in a narrow shape which means the sides of the tongue squeeze in towards each other. The tongue tip may or may not be raised. Sometimes the tongue tip stays down. Sometimes the tongue tip is neutral. And sometimes the tongue tip comes up. It doesn't really matter too much what the tongue tip is doing as long as the back of the tongue is doing the right thing because the dark L is made primarily with the back of the tongue. Let's practice pronouncing the dark L together using the word call. 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 Oh, oh, oh. When I say call, my tongue tip remains down for the entire word. I can feel the back of my tongue come up for the K consonant, then the back of my tongue goes down for the AH vowel, then narrows, tenses, and pulls back towards the back of my throat for the dark L. It's a very dark sound, like it's being made in the throat, not my mouth. That's exactly why the dark L has the name dark L. The sound is farther back in the mouth, which gives it that darker quality. If it's challenging for you to make the dark L with the tongue tip down, then try this trick. Bring the tongue tip up at the end of the dark L and add the a uh vowel to the end of the word, like this. Call. Call. When you say the la part of the word, you're using a light L, 
while the tip of the tongue is up at the alveolar ridge for the light L in la, push the tongue against the alveolar ridge and use that as leverage to add tension to the back of the tongue. Call. Hold out the L for as long as you can. Notice how there are two parts to this L in call. First, there's this darker sound, call. Then there's a lighter sound as you bring the tongue tip up to say a. Uh. Call. Hold out both parts of this L sound. Feel how the back of the tongue narrows and pulls back towards the throat for that first part of the L in call. Then, notice how you can actively position your tongue to do that while you're pushing the tip against the alveolar ridge for the second part of the L in L. Call. Call. Do this a few times, then slowly fade out the uh and say, call, call, call. Bringing your tongue tip up as if you were going to say la, call. Then try to keep the tongue tip down and say, call, call, without the la. Call, call. This muscle here under the chin should be flexing. That's the tongue. And you want it to tense up as you say the dark L. Call. The tension is here, not in the jaw or lips or throat, just here where the base of the tongue is. Now let's talk about another extremely important thing about the dark L, how to link words and phrases together using the dark L. Here's the rule about linking with the dark L. When a syllable or word ends with the dark L and the next syllable or word begins with a vowel, then you use a light L to link those syllables or words together. This happens in a word like dollar. The first syllable ends with an L consonant, and the L comes after a vowel. So this word is typically pronounced using a dark L. The next syllable begins with a vowel, the unstressed er vowel. So when pronouncing this word, you use a light L to link the two syllables. Dollar. This also happens in a phrase like pull a muscle. The word pull contains a dark L. The L is after a vowel and comes at the end of the word. The next word, a, uh, is a vowel. So when linking this phrase together, you use a light L and the tongue tip comes up. Pull a muscle. When linking a dark L to a consonant, like in the word culture, you typically don't bring the tongue tip up. The tongue tip stays down for that dark L. Culture, not culture. You have to pay attention to two things in order to determine if you should use a dark L. Number one, Pay attention to the location of the L consonant and the sounds that surround the L consonant. If a word ends in an L sound, which doesn't necessarily mean the letter L, because remember, we're talking about the pronunciation of a word, not the spelling. So if the word ends in an L sound, then it's most likely going to be pronounced as a dark L or if the L sound comes after a vowel in the same syllable, then it's most likely going to be pronounced as a dark L. And number two, pay attention to the syllables. If there is an L in the middle of a word, then you have to identify where the syllables are. Sometimes that L will be at the end of a syllable, like in the word dollar. 
in which case it's pronounced like a dark L. Other times, the L will be at the beginning of a syllable, like in the word delicious, in which case it's pronounced like a light L. Now you know how to pronounce the dark L and the difference between the dark L and the light L in American English. You also know how to link phrases together using the L sound. Now let's practice the dark L. In this video, you'll have the chance to practice the dark L with me in words and sentences. I'll say each word or sentence at my normal speaking rate, and I'll loop each recording five times in a row to help you with your practice. But if you want even more dark L practice, more complex words, more sentences, and recordings in slow motion, then join my YouTube channel to access the members only practice videos. I upload new practice videos every month. And by becoming a member of my channel, you can access all of those videos right now. Just click the join button below to learn more. Label, 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 label. Possible, 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 possible. Help. Help, 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 help. Careful, 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 careful. Milk, 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 milk. Label your belongings clearly. 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 Many possible outcomes exist. 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 I need your help moving furniture. 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 Be careful with fragile items. 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 Pass me the milk, please. 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 Fantastic job, you guys. The dark L is hard to pronounce, even for advanced students of American English. So don't feel discouraged if you can't pronounce it perfectly yet. With practice, you can get better at it. If you want even more Dark L practice, then check out English Pro, my online accent training program. You'll receive training in all areas of the American accent, including the Dark L. Plus, you can attend weekly live English classes and work with me one-on-one -on -one in the class.
Check out the description for links to learn more about English Pro. And don't forget that I also have a free Sounds of American English guidebook, where you'll learn how to pronounce every sound of American English with audio recordings, pictures, MRIs, IPA charts, and more. It's a fantastic free resource that will really help boost your American English pronunciation skills. So check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more pronunciation tips. That's a fantastic, no cost way that you can show your support and let me know that you liked this video and want me to make more just like it. You can also leave a comment below to let me know what techniques have helped you with your pronunciation of the dark L, and I'll make sure to cover them in future videos. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time.